Hi, my name is Magnus from SolidTech, and this video I just want to present some different techniques for using uh, multi-body part explodes. So one of the new features was SolidWorks uh, last year was the ability to explode multi-body parts. So to do this in a multi-body part file, we right click, go new explode view, we can pick the parts and simply uh, explode them the same as we would inside an assembly. So really, really, um, really simple and easy to do. Okay. Now what it ends up being is a drive configuration, which we can then collapse. So that's, um, that's really helpful. Now one of the issues we have is when we go to uh, look at an assembly of this. So we open up the assembly and here we have that uh, part file. But the limitation I have with this is I don't have the ability to explode it. It only shows me that default configuration. So if I'd like to utilize that explode, I can't. Uh, this is a known limitation with SolidWorks at the moment and there is an enhancement request raised against it. So traditionally before the uh, explode command was introduced, you would uh, initially have to just do a new configuration. So I'd go add configuration, I might call it explode. And then I would use the direct editing toolbar and use features such as move copy body. So I could take this one and I could perhaps just use uh, the translate and if we look at this, I'm not going to copy that body. And it's pretty much the same features that I have um, have used before for the explode. So move copy body, pick that one, translate it. Again, move copy body. And you get the gist of it. So it becomes uh, another configuration. If I go back, they're suppressed. So the advantage now, if I open up that assembly, is that this will become a configuration I can use. So I right click on the component properties, go to the explode, and I'm able to access that explode state I've manually created. Now this is a bit problematic if you've already um, created a multi-body part file and you've used the new explode feature because you can't access that. So a little technique that, um, that I've just uh, experimented and found out works quite well is if we import this part into another part. So we've got these two configurations. If I just save that, close this, new part file, and if we then go up to the top menu, insert, part, I'll go part with explode, hit open, we can see a preview. I'm going to break the link to the original part because I don't want it to reference it anymore. It'll ask about locate and remove and I can just hit cancel. So the default is, and it's come in with all the features. Okay, so I can still control that. Now what I'm going to do is add another configuration. I'm going to call this explode. I'm then going to suppress these features on this one. So it's an empty file. I'll save this part now and we'll go um, new explode. Right, I'll go back to my other part. What I need to do with this one is now save it in the exploded state. Okay, and the reason you'll see that in a minute, I'm now in the exploded configuration of this new part file. And I go insert part. It's part with explode. And we can see it now previews in the exploded state. I'll now go again, break link to original part, hit OK. 
Okay, so now I've imported that file I was working on before. I haven't had to recreate the exploded steps. It's still a multi-body part file. If I now save that, open up the assembly, rebuild. Now in the assembly, I can go to component properties. Uh, sorry, um, this is the traditional one I was using. So let's insert that new one. Right, I'll just move this one. I'll just suppress the one I initially had in here. Right, so here's my new explode part. I've now got the ability of two explode configurations to toggle between. Okay, there, there could be some limitations. It's just, um, this just showing a, a possible workaround. Hopefully SolidWorks will enhance um, the assemblies to be able to use multi-body part explodes. But for um, a workaround at the moment, this might save, um, save you some time. Um, I hope you find this useful and um, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please check out our channel or the links on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe to receive updates on our recent videos.